from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. First to the passing of a Tampa icon, David Strass Jr. dying in his sleep while on a fishing trip over the weekend. Condolences have been coming in all night for the wealthy philanthropist who had his eyes on becoming the city's next mayor. The woman who beat him out, Jane Castro, telling us late tonight, David's indelible contributions to the city will be part of our cultural fabric for decades to come. Straz was 77 years old. In Sarasota, a middle school teacher stands accused of inappropriately touching at least two students. Maxwell Gus taught at Brookside Middle School. During the investigation, detectives learned that another complaint was made against him in 2017, but charges were never brought forward. Police believe there could be more victims and are asking anyone who had inappropriate contact with Gus to reach out. House Republicans preparing for another day of testimony in the impeachment inquiry of President Donald Trump. The president saying today he would strongly consider accepting an invitation from the Speaker of House to testify in his defense. The president under fire for asking the leader of Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden. President Trump maintains his conversation was above board. Now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Hey, don't everybody. Our cool, raw weather of the weekend has ended. and I don't think it's coming back anytime soon. Now, granted, we are tracking a cool front that will give us a few showers overnight. But as we head into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, skies will be mostly sunny. Temperatures will warm back up. In fact, we'll be up near 80 by Thursday, Friday into Saturday. And then another front may give us a brief cool down later on in the weekend. Thank you, Dennis. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember, you can always download the free ABC Action News app.